Hello, everyone, and thank you for coming back to the channel. That is Dale Chanel's 48 Squirrel, where we get down with just about any review we want to do. And, of course, you know we keep it hot and lit over here. Some things you might like, some things you might not like. And then you'll get in them comments and let me know about it. But thank you for the ones that have subscribed. Continue to subscribe. Continue to hit that notification bell so you'll know when I'm coming on with something. Also, uh, thank you for sharing and liking my videos. But today, hey, okmagazine.com stopped by the crib today. Yes, and they dropped some tea. Yeah, so I'm coming to you with what they told me with the who, what, when, where, why, and lastly, how in the entertainment business. Okay, the celebrity world of living. And this individual we're going to be talking about today is none other than Kenya Moore. Okay, saw an article. Saw the article that OK Magazine had presented to me this morning. And, you know, she likes to do all that twirl, twirl, twirl. And God knows she wanted to get married real bad because she made a little movie out of it, a mini series movie. OK, we knew she was messing with an African at one time. Don't know if that was him or not. And then, of course, we know about this man because he went on the French Screen Morning Show and busted Kenya out about they ain't had no relationship. They ain't have nothing. She told me she wanted to marry him. Please get on. And then we had this young man who stayed on briefly. And then, of course, y'all know, y'all recognize who he is, Mr. Matt Jordan. Yeah, she had trying to make him out as a lunatic. Now she's back on this man that she actually called herself Marion. Yes, Marion. All right, y'all know about it, how she went off to some exotic island and whatnot and called herself going to get married. But she didn't take nobody in the family. She took her best friend, uh, who was on a few of her shows on the uh, on episode, a few episodes uh, of him, and she took him with her to get married. I mean, she didn't take her what do you call it her best aunt, her best cousin, her dad, any friends. You know, Cynthia could have went, whatever. But she ain't by nobody, honey. That's why I said her marriage is fictitious. Yes, her marriage is fictitious. And she had to just do it with some naysayers that were, de well, not no naysayers, but some people that was her yes people that were going to actually do something. Now she's trying to say that she's a single mom. Now she feels like she's a single mom. And she's trying to say, what? Is my Mark trying to break the contract? Is he trying to make, uh... Break the contract, don't want to be married no more. Make it uh, Kenya a single mom because that's what she's stirring up. Uh, she's twirling right around these here streets in Atlanta trying to put out that she feel like a single mom and just feel so overwhelmed. And I'm like, I don't give two cents of what she's saying and don't feel sorry for because, hey, it's too many women in general, not just black women, that are sitting there taking care of their families, that are sole provider, they're working two or three jobs, they're working a nine to five, a ten to five, or uh, uh, twelve in the morning time to six AM in the you know the evening time. They doing the doing fine. And they do it without any reservation. Okay, because they're this is what you call providers. And with this little video, they saying that was Kenya a more real mama. Now I don't know. We know her aunt who's always been there. Shake and bake. Shake and bake lady. That's why I used to call her get Kenya told too sometime. But if we care to look at that picture again, uh, do she similar? Do she look like Kenya? Like I said, I don't know. I don't know, but this is what was told to me. So I thought I'd give y'all photos of Kenya and then a sneak peek at the woman that there's claiming that they found, which is Kenya Moore's mom. She looks kind of similar. That's all I can say. Y'all be the judge. Well, let's get on into this story, okay? Kenya Moore trying to make herself seem like she's going to be, uh, in the near future, a single mom. And let's just dissect it as we go along. Because like I said, I don't read the article. I just read the title. And when it interests me, I say, okay, that's something I want to talk about with my viewers. Okay, on my show. That again is Deb Chanel Sport Ace World. Get in tune with it. Subscribe, like, and share my videos. But you know I like it when you subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And you like, like, like. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Then you like, like, like. Yes, get into it. Okay, but let's get into this story. All right. Now, they don't go and really tell us. Well, yes, they do. Um, Is it Naldi Ushi? Somebody like that over at OK Magazine Reality TV. They're breaking it down for the organization over there. They give us the title as Kenya Moore broke down after opening up about her marriage in new Real Housewives of Atlanta storyline. Okay, I thought Twirl was going to come with Twirl. 
twirl, twirl, twirl. And she's going to be taking names, kicking ass, and all that kind of stuff. Okay, and with a little version of her showing Brooklyn. And don't get me wrong. I love people, kids. I Well, I just adore people, kids. Let me just say that because I don't know all these reality stars like that. So let me just backtrack. Let me y'all backtrack for the whole video. Okay, now the stuff that I put out on my channel, just it comes from reputable sources. But just keep in mind, it might not be true. But then again, it could be. So I'm just giving y'all the tea. Y'all take what y'all want to do with it. Okay? I give y'all my perspective on what I heard that was set forth uh, in front of me to give my opinion on. And that's what I do. Okay? So take for what it is. But again, what I put out here may not be true. But guess what? It might be. All right? And then you know what you heard it first at Dale Chanel Sporty's World, where you can come back and get all the celebrity news and entertainment that they give us out on these streets. Because, Lord, no, I don't go looking for it. They be done done it. And either they leak their own stuff out, or they get people to leak them out for them. Or then they have people that just want to really be like the paparazzi and go around and just sit out and camp out at their houses, their jobs, and whatever. Okay? Just to get a, cl a glimpse of them, just to get photos, uh, scandalous photos at that, to make a good, beefy story for us who love entertainment would take a part of and want to take a, a, a bite out of it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like the poison apple. Okay. But we didn't know it was poison at the time. But getting back to the story. Okay. It says the reality star was pre previously fired for keeping her relationship private. We all know about that. Nothing new to that story. Kenya Moore promised to be more open about her marriage to Mark Daly upon her return. The Real Housewives of Atlanta and it's taking a toll. The new mom marital issues reportedly caused her to have a breakdown during film. And I'm like, wait a minute. Okay, are you going through postpartum or are you just trying to give us your acting skills? Because we know you are an actress, you know. We know you've been on several sitcoms here and there. All right, I'm just going to give you the one that I do remember. Martin Lawrence show as well as the Martin show. Okay, and then you had that one with Living Single where you made a little impromptu one-time uh, visit on an episode. Okay, and I'm sure you can go list your own other parts of your resume. Those are the only two that I can think of right off the top of my dome, okay? But anyway, uh, yeah, she's trying to break down and tell us something that I don't really believe, okay? I think it is a storyline, okay? But then again, if you are going through that, can you think about the millions of women who don't have a husband, don't have a boyfriend, not in a relationship, but they may have one to five to nine kids, okay? 12 kids, all right, that they have to singly take care of okay at least you have somewhat of an acting husband or half of a husband but i just don't understand where you're coming with all of this because see you wanted the family you wanted the husband did you not know they were going to come with some type of adversity some type of obstacles some type of like oh can i be single again okay thoughts did you not think that would happen to you and all of your twirl Twirl, twirl, twirl. Sometimes we can just be so educated. We can be having dumb uh, activities in our lives, okay? They don't, you don't have street smarts. You might have book smarts. You might have entertainment smarts. But sometimes can you, you be like blank as a uh, blank film or dense as a... Okay, we don't have to get that into Kenya, but because we're going to get into a little bit more because I know this story is going to be a little bit more beef, beefier than what I'm actually giving y'all at this time. But anyway, going back to the article, it says Kenya feels like she's doing all of the parenting in the relationship and it is overwhelming for her. A source told RadarOnline.com the couple welcomed daughter Brooklyn in November 2018 and here we coming up almost uh, a year Shy of maybe what three months? What we got September, October, November, from September, October, November. Shy of two months from it becoming one year uh, that she had baby Brooklyn, and now she's trying to say she's doing it on her own. But what can you? Uh, weren't you living somewhat in New York with Mark? Okay, nobody's asking you to stay down here. You could have rented your house out. And, and hightailed your behind up there with the father who helped make this baby. Like I said, unless he was a donor, a donor, just like 
uh, faith process said, you know, did you stop at the dark, uh, what do you call it? Did, did Mark just drop off his sperm and then he got $10 for donating the transaction and then you just liked his profile and you just went on and had yourself uh, inseminated with his sperm and that's how y'all got the baby. I mean, I know you said intro and all in vitro uh, fertilization and all that, but I don't know, can you? You be doing the tricks of the trade, so you could be gooping us, okay? That's just what I think, can you? are gooping us, all right? And you want sympathy and I ain't got none for you, okay? Because like I said, I'm here for all the single women or the women that had to go through a divorce, no fault of their own, maybe was fault of their own, but they doing it, doing thing. You don't see them whining here and there, okay? They just doing it. They making it work, okay? you? Okay, Kenya, and they're not putting it out on social media about, ooh, po is me, ooh, po is me. Don't want to hear. You're supposed to be built for this shit. Okay, twirl, 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 and make it work, Kenya. Make it work. Get off social media talking about, ooh, I just feel so alone. Ooh, I might be a single parent. Ooh, I can't take this. Girl, cry me a river. Let me get my um, violin and just start tuning it up because I'm going to hear it all uh, during season 12. I think not. Okay. Moving back to the article, it says um, the insider further revealed she is really struggling being basic, basically a single mom. Mark, 49, works primarily in New York City as a restaurant owner, although Kenya is raising her family in Atlanta. Well, you know, like I said, I had her. She was up there. She was trying to say she was up there with Mark in New York doing it on thing. They were going to be commuting from back and forth, meaning they was the key word. She didn't say it was just going to be her commuting back and forth. OK, so. And when she got this acceptance to come back to uh, Real Housewives of Atlanta, you know, she had said she's going to be between both places. Now, what? You trying to uh, keep, uh, what do you call that, uh, Chateau uh, Moore or Manor Moore up, you know, where you can still be dwelling in it or whatnot? Hell, you probably never even left. Like I said, Ken, everything that's done in your dog going to come to light, okay? Everything that's done in your dog going to come to light. And we're going to see it. It was all for clicks and views and it was all for you to be uh relevant in the media mainstream media so you can keep being uh looked at as, as relevant uh when you go try to make these deals with hollywood okay but hollywood don't keep everybody and they do have their time all right you're here one day gone tomorrow dried up in pasture get your stuff going okay you had that more care products that's what you really need to be focusing on product to the consumer instead of trying to be on television showing your ass all the time but getting back to the story it said kenya 48 was fired from real housewives of atlanta after she secretly got married to mark in 2017 the couple was adamant at the time about keeping their relationship off air said, okay kenya what's the deal now you said he was a secret person your followers that come in my video when i'm talking about you saying he's a private person he don't want to be filmed he just said in the third trying to get me straight but now you're trying to Ooh, let me bring him in. Ooh, I gotta get that money. Ooh, Mark is uh, what do you call it? In debt of a hundred grand. I, somebody even got him a comment trying to say, well, you know what? They got money still. They got money. They don't have to pay tax. Pay the taxes, okay? So then it won't be nothing for somebody to dig up on you when you think your life is all picture perfect. Everything's like. Fluffy clouds and, and baby unicorns floating around now. Ain't no dirt on you. See, that's what I'm saying. If you don't pay your bill, people are going to find out about it. Especially if you're sitting at that time that you got this, you got that, you showing this, you showing that, like you are wealthy. And then you got uh, bills and, and past due notices, such as myself and all that. And, and probably, you know, living paycheck to paycheck, like most of us are. I can claim I am living paycheck to check, paycheck, trying to make ends meet. And then you sitting up here talking about, oh, well, he's a successful restaurant, a tier. Then you got your uh, followers saying the same thing. But then stuff like that come up on them. You know, first they said it was a mistake. Then it don't came back twice. I ain't doing another video on it because I thought what I said was what I said. It just is what it is. You know, that's just how it goes. But see, now you sitting up here talking about, oh, I don't know. Uh, I, 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 we were supposed to keep our stuff on the down though. Now you're putting that forefront. You're putting it at the forefront now. Uh, with Mark not giving you enough time to share uh duty skills with the baby. Girl, get out of here. He ain't that busy. It ain't that busy. It ain't like he got a chain of restaurants. He got one restaurant. 
one, count them, one, okay? And he have other children. He needs to put his work in if that's truly is his child and he truly is the father. Now, I ain't talking about like a sperm donor. I'm talking about he was in there doing the right thing. Y'all was making love one night and then y'all made Brooklyn, okay? Then you said and got into a real marriage where he had to put in work too, okay? That's that child's father. Don't let him escape his uh, duties, girl, Anyway, moving on from that, this is my sidebar, okay? It says the reality uh, star's new storyline, how it was taking a toll on the mom. She was in crisis mode and really broke down while filming. The source told Radar it was intense. I bet it was because she's the actress. That's what she's supposed to give us, guys, okay? Mark has only been to a few times. Uh, wait a minute. Mark has only been to a few times to film with Kenya and the baby, but he doesn't live there, and he isn't there full time, the insider added. Kenya is in a long-distance relationship, and that is hard as a mom, as a wife, and as someone on a reality show. No, that's hard for Kenya. Kenya making it hard because she can definitely pack up all her bags, sell her property, and be in New York with her husband if that's what she want to do. But Kenya likes that line life. She likes being in social media. She likes posting every day. She likes doing this, that, and the third. Anything entertainment where she's a uh, center spot. Okay, that's what Kenya likes. All right. And poor baby Brooklyn, hopefully she won't use her to the extent where she's plastered all over social media when she gets a little older. Maybe she can have a conversation with her mom and say, Mom, you can plash you on uh, social media like that, but leave me out of it, okay? Cut it, cut it, cut it, cut it, okay? I don't want to be. If I post, let me post. But don't be posting my photos up there like that. That ain't cool, Mom. Post your photos, all right? If you want to be in entertainment, you do it. And maybe Brooklyn will have that conversation with her as she go along, okay? Because babies and kids don't need that type of attention, especially when they're in their formative years, their puberty years. They don't want all that attention because they may be suffering from acne and all this other stuff going on. And they don't like their body. And then they get shamed. Yeah. And then Kenya's going to be coming out talking about, well, got somebody bullying in my door. I don't know if I want to hear all that because you put it out there, Kenya. So I said, all these social media people, you know, y'all kids off the uh, tube. Let them grow up outside of the camera. Okay. Show us that they progress each year. But we ain't got to see them on a daily basis. I mean, come on. Too saturated. But moving on. Okay. Um, let me see. Then she goes to say, Kenya's drama is reportedly going to be a major plot line on the upcoming season of Real Housewives of Atlanta. But she took a one million pay cut because she is being brought back as a friend rather than a main housewives person. Okay. I'm like, yeah, because she was needing the money. Just like people be talking, oh, Kenya don't need this. Candy don't need it. They don't need to be a part of it. They, they got that. No, no. If, if, if Bravo went on the right today, all them. Uh, franchise shows they got of the Real Housewives of Atlanta, Platonic, Dallas, uh, and Beverly Hills, and all like that. They'll be uh, scrambling to try to get uh, around or scrambling. What do you call it? Oh, shit, for a better word. They'll be looking high and low for another opportunity to be on reality TV. Trust and believe that. That's good money that they can be made. It ain't good money to me. Not when I have to sit up there and put myself out there and act a certain way just to keep you on my paycheck. Uh-uh. I'd rather go on working nine to five. But see, like I said, you have those who want to work for the man, and you have those who want to be a part of the man's type of uh, establishment where they want to get their own. But hey, teach your own, be an entrepreneur or work for somebody. It all get, works out. You get to pay your bills, get to, you get everything on time, and you have a little uh somewhat of a living of a life that you probably wanted to have for yourself, okay? But stop making these reality people thinking they do this because, you know, ooh, uh they meant for a this, that, and a. no, they can do something else. They can do something else that they don't have to put their lives out on blast and then get mad when people have a dis difference of opinion on how they're living their lives. But that's all I got for this video. Y'all drop y'all comments, which I know y'all will, okay? But think about what I'm saying before you actually sit there and try to doubt me about Kenya or not giving her sympathy. I don't have sympathy for Kenya, only for the basis because she wanted all this. And then I don't think she's telling us the truth, but then... Many black women have been doing this thing by themselves, whether they got divorced, whether they never got married, but they stayed with the man or they were widowed. They still doing the darn thing. And if they cry, they crying in silence. They crying with somebody they ain't putting it out on social media. OK, but they doing the darn thing. So Ken just need to buck up, straighten up and ride her horse that she put together. OK, that's all I got. Talk to y'all for another video. Peace.